Hey everyone, I'm Michael from Overland Bound, and tonight we're gonna talk about the age-old question, rooftop tent or ground tent? If you're like me, you see the rooftop tents on expedition vehicles, and you're like, man, I gotta have me one of those. That looks like an epic adventure. What's right for you? Let's talk about it. All right, there are really two main options. You can sleep in your rig. We can talk about that later. Today, we're talking about rooftop tent versus ground tent. Let's talk about some of the benefits of each. With a rooftop tent, of course, you drive in, you park, it doesn't matter what's on the ground, whether it's sand or mud. You park your vehicle, your tent's up off the ground, you know you're gonna be out of the elements. Also, if there are critters like in Northern Australia and everything on the ground wants to kill you, ah! <laughs> you're out of harm's way. Also, you open up the tent and the idea is no matter where you go, you have a home. Home is where you park it. You open it up fairly quickly and you've got a nice mattress, your bedding is all set and you're ready to go to sleep. Now, a ground tent. If you get an efficient ground tent, you pull it out. Oftentimes they can be bigger and they set up relatively quickly. When you separate your tent from your vehicle, you can leave your ground tent set up and you can leave your camp set up and drive the vehicle away if you wanna hit some trails. If you're gonna be doing a lot of driving and you're not gonna move your base camp, sometimes a ground tent is more optimal. So what's right for you? What's better? The answer is everyone is going to have a different preference. Now, let me tell you about my experience. We've tried both. We've tried the rooftop tent, a clamshell model. It was a great tent. We've also tried a variety of ground tents. For the Overland Bound vehicle, it is very tall and it has a roof rack on top of that. So with the clamshell tent, it was very cumbersome opening and closing that tent. I felt like a monkey crawling all over my rig and honestly, I had a saying when people asked me why I finally got rid of the rooftop tent, I said because I haven't opened it up one time without blood. All right, maybe I'm clumsy, but fact of the matter is I was always struggling with it and it took me 15 minutes. The idea is that it's very quick, but with our configuration, it took me that long just to get everything set up, to get the wires up and to have the bed ready to go. So it was quite cumbersome. We switched over to a ground tent because some of the options out there when it's just Corey and I, it's the two of us, we only need a small tent and we can throw out the tent and really it pops up in like five minutes or two minutes and it comes down just as quickly. The ground tent for me is actually much easier to put away than the clamshell model. So for me, I prefer the ground tent. We also tend to leave base camp quite frequently to hit trails or do further exploration. So that being the case, I don't want to open and close my tent every time I have to move the vehicle. So for us, again, it's the ground tent. It is personal preference. When I talk to my friends in Australia, they laugh at me because they say, heck no, I'm in Northern Australia. Everything on the ground wants to kill me. I want to be up off the ground. And so they prefer to go with the rooftop tent or they'll sleep in their vehicle. So what's the right answer? Really, you have to evaluate that for yourself. Now we should discuss the pop-up rooftop tents. Those are really quick camped with a guy that had a pop-up rooftop tent, not a clamshell. He said, tell me 30 seconds before you want to hit the road and I'll be ready. And in fact, he was ready. Pulled it down, hit the buckles, he was good to go. So that's an option as well. So the choice is really up to you. How are you going to use your tent? Are you going to be driving the vehicle frequently? Are you going to leave your base camp? Maybe a ground tent's for you. Do you need to be up off the ground? Are you going to be in inclement weather where there's mud or sand? Hey, maybe a rooftop tent is right. There's no right answer, the choice is up to you. So if you wanna to talk to people about their personal experiences using a wide variety of tents, 
Go on over to overlandbound.com, hit up our forums. All the Overland Bound members are there to help you and answer your questions. Just ask. Till next time, outfit and explore.